Hey everyone, this is Dan back with another Linux desktop customization video and today I will show you how to install Hyperland on Ubuntu 24.04 because this is the stable version. So I will show you how to install Hyperland first and then I will show you how to get this setup for your Hyperland on Ubuntu. Alright, so the first thing that you will need to do is get the project files. So there are two project files over here. So let's go ahead and quickly extract them. So one is for installing Hyperland and one is for getting the setup that I showed you at the beginning of this video. All right, so let's install Hyperland first. So go inside the folder called install Hyperland and right click on empty space and then click on open in terminal. And then after you open a terminal, just type chmod plus x install hyper.sh and then type dot slash install hypr.sh. Press enter, type your password. Press y, press enter, press enter again press enter enter again press enter and press space bar or tab and then press enter I'll press enter here as well and I will press enter again And by the way, you, you can get both of these project files down in the description of this video. So there will be basically two links. One is for installing a Hyperland and one is for customizing the Hyperland. Okay, so it is telling me to reboot. So if I press Y, it's gonna reboot. And inside the login screen, I can Select my username and then on the right bottom corner, select the gear icon and select Hyperland. And then you can log in and it's going to take you to Hyperland. Now, as you can see that this is the basic configuration. So this is how you can install Hyperland, but I'm going to show you how you can actually get the setup that I showed you at the beginning of this video. So inside the project file, which is called hyper project click on download links and then simply download the themes and I have provided all the links inside the download links text file so simply copy and paste the links inside your browser one by one so here go to capuchin select files and then select the dark theme first and after that download the light theme as well from the same page click on download and after that click on this icon pack Then download it and after that actually close this page because it's basically the same page. So here click on this icon pack as well. And then go to graph box and I'm going looking for medium dark borderless theme so download that and then finally the graph box icon pack click on download so after i have downloaded all this i can close the browser and then simply go to downloads and extract all of these files 
So select all of them and right click and click on extract. Wait for it to finish extracting. So there is a little progress bar on the left side. So once I've extracted all of this, I can then delete the .tar files. And then right click and click on open in new windows. And then press Ctrl H on your keyboard to make it show the hidden files. And then right click on an empty space and select new folder and create a new folder called dot icons. And then create another new folder called dot themes. And after that, go inside dot icons and then simply drag and drop the icon packs that I have just downloaded. So there's basically three icon packs for three different themes because there will be a theme switcher and there will be three themes. So I'm going to drag and drop this themes back to dot themes as well, just like I did with the dot icons. Alright, so once I've done all of this, go inside my project file and then look for a script called everything.sh. So simply run it, right click on an empty space and click on open in terminal. So make sure to do that, do not open a new terminal. Just right click on an empty space inside the project file and then open a terminal. Then just make it executable by typing chmod plus x everything.sh and then run it by typing dot slash everything so basically you need to be inside the project file to run the script so that you don't have to select the path for the script so once it's done you can close the terminal and reboot select your username click the gear icon and select hyperland and then type password and then log in and we are in Hyperland now. And it has already applied all the config files, as you can see. And let's go ahead and do a little bit of tweaking or customizations on the file explorer, which is Nemo. So we are using Nemo for the file explorer. Press control and plus sign on your keyboard to make the icons bigger. So this is the theme switcher. And you can switch between themes. There will be three themes. And you can change the wallpapers. So let's go ahead and install fish. Actually, fish is already installed, so let's just make it the default shell by just typing this command and then simply reboot. Alright guys, so this is it. I hope you like this customization and thank you so much for the support for getting the membership. I really appreciate this and I will see you in the next video.